welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And that's Coit Tower, perched high atop Telegraph Hill here in San Francisco. We're just about set for action. The NBA playoffs continue. Just two teams remain. They are battling their way toward this title. Game two of the finals. This is Kevin Harlan, and joining me tonight, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, reporting from the sideline. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. Outside, the wings are Brown and Tatum. Bob Williams is out there with Horford, and it's Pritchard in at the point. And for the Warriors, Jay out there with Jordan Poole. Then it's Curry, and there's Captain Clutch, and it's Peyton in at the two-guard spot. And it's the Warriors to start out. Here's Curry. Jay, guarded by Tatum. Captain Clutch passes to Curry, and Curry throws it down. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does. He really does put pressure on him. And guys, it's clear, though. He enjoys doing all these athleticism. The D can't give him these opportunities. And so it's the Warriors getting on the board first. Williams shot is off. Curry against Brown. Curry passes to Captain Clutch. And that one is stuffed right through. Oh, that's a well-deserved assist. Not every player has the vision to make that feed. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Williams. Here's the pass to Pritchard. Dishes it to Tatum. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. They recover it, and three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Out to the right wing, goes up the baseline, and the Warriors take on two more. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. But yeah, that's one of his go-to spots. I mean, you have to pressure him in that mid-range area. Now, here's Brown. Good, great play by Williams to set it up. Determining Brown ceiling. I mean, how good of an outside shooter can he become? I mean, I, to me, that's, that's the only question. But uh, he may have already exceeded expectations. Curry gets the bucket. That's what I'm talking about. That's a perfect four for four start for them. Now they're just getting all the shots they get. Master Brown. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. And the layup's good off the glass. Brown's got five now. He's got some pep in this stuff tonight. I wonder what he had to eat last night. I mean, very solid first quarter for him at the offensive. Curry passes to Captain Clutch. Got it. Good job in the left post. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. You see here, very little resistance. I mean, he had to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Tatum. Passes it to Williams. And it's the Warriors on the break. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them. Offensive. That's his first personal foul. First and let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown That's for the Warriors. For the well, they're just a team in sync right One now. Shot. Passing in the first half has been outstanding. And also, it's been a positive to watch that they've attacked the paint offensively as well. It's really been about the balance that they've shown. Free throw good by Curry. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Pass to Horford. Left side, Tatum. From 13, and he didn't get quite enough under that one. Warriors leading by eight. Here's Peyton. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Down low, here's Williams, and the slam by Williams. 
Oh, impressive ball handling from Tatum. I mean, attracts the other team's focus and then finds. Baden outside. Golden State moving it around. Curry's shot is good. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Graney. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. They come into this one following a really disappointing game on Friday. Total embarrassment. I, I was shocked at how poorly they played. I, I think they were shocked. But they just had nothing going for them. They, they look very defeated out there. Kicks it to Tatum. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. And it's denied. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. shot six on the shot clock nice spin off the left rim and in well, over the years Tatum has tried to reduce the number of mid-range jumpers he takes but it's still a natural tendency Poole kicks to Curry the pass to Captain Clutch nice pass nice catch and a resounding dunk and I've been impressed with the unselfishness but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with them. yeah he's just not getting the ball with the purpose of this lead to score. Now, here's Brown. Five points in the game. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain Celtics possession here. Ball. Six to shoot. Outside Tatum. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. Tatum's got his second basket. Here's Jay. A three-pointer no good. Celtics trail by seven. Pass to Tatum. Passes to Pritchard. the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. Taj Gibson's checked in for the Celtics. In for the Celtics. comes in for Pritchard. Taj Gibson. Derek White. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Poole kicks to Kirk. Pass to Captain Clutch. Count that bucket. Captain Clutch has got eight points. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. White. And the pass to Tatum. Corner shot. The offensive rebound. Gibbs and terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Warriors leading by seven. Curry looking around. Here's the try, and he goes right over Jalen Brown and slams it down. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go. Maybe it is showtime. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. Yeah, well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones, and now their defense is in overdrive. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. And the Warriors with some changes. Andrew Wick. The Warriors have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. Shooting one. Free throw good. Porter. In each season, Porter seems to improve. It's just something about his game. He's a versatile player who wants to be great. On the floor for Boston. We've got Williams. Williams is out there with Neesmith. Then there's Edwards. 
and it's Pritchard in at the point guard position. Now here's Edwards. Nine points in the game so far. Second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Curry kicks to Curry. Now here's Peyton, guarded close. Porter passes to Wiggins. Golden State moving it around. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Inside, there's Williams. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Six points Williams. for Williams. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Pass to Curry. A three ball. Buries the long range jumper. Curry's got 11 points. Ball him. Shot me. Curry just operating at a whole different level. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. They needed that, and I love that he just did several Trains the three pointer. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. He kicks to Edwards. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Man, you don't see this fella blow many layups. Not against D like that anymore. And that one's good. Wiggins. Wiggins. And how about the confidence of Wiggins? His teammates want him to take those shots. Pass to Neesmith. With some arc. It's rebounded by Peyton. Warriors leading by 12. Here's Curry. And Curry with the stuff. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. No, oh, but his teammates love that kind of energy, fellas. I mean, don't like this demonstrate leadership. And the Celtics with possession here. The Warriors making the shot. Edwards against Curry. Edwards, that's good. He's got 11. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Adjustments are a part of the game. And their coaches see something they like. I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. And the Warriors making a change here. Pools checked in. The Celtics also changing it up. Crawford comes in for Williams. And it's Brown in for Edwards. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a score. Driving in. Richard passes to Brown. To the middle. And the rejection by Curry. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. Celtics trail by 14. Now, here's Neesmith. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Williams with the ball. Now Peyton defending. Neesmith, the pass to Brock. Lock it four. From deep three-point range, Andrew Wiggins pulls it in. And it's the Warriors' ball. They're on a 14-6 run. And Curry, here we go. And Curry with the stuff. I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys. And it was the same exact story last time out. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Curry with the steal. And here we go with Curry running it up the court. <laughs> Porter trying to free himself up. Two points. That one goes. And the Warriors lead by 18. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the back. Side, Horford. Oscar Brown. Five 
five on the clock. Now the pass to Williams. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Here's Horford. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. I mean, you have to give a lot of credit to Horford for how he does not panic in tight spots. He feels comfortable being the guy to put the team on his back. Porter and finished off by Porter. He gives up a lot of size to most other power forwards, but not too many of them can fly like him. Celtics trail by 18. Pass to Brown. Over Porter. They get it again. Knocks it loose. Rule with the steal. Dish now to Payton. Kicks to Kirk. Back to Payton. Golden State moving the ball around. Shoots. Curry shot is off. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Wiggins against Brown. Out to the wing. Passes it to Williams. On deep. That one, no good. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Outside Curry. He dishes it to beat. Porter kicks to Wiggins. Shoots the three. And another three for Golden State. He's got six points from beyond the arc in this quarter. I mean, for the game, he's got nine points from deep. Boston now a timeout called by Boston. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks. It's true that they'd like to reverse. Some changes here for the Warriors. Captain. And so it's the Golden State Warriors riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've had active hands and have forced a lot of turnovers in this one. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Steph. I know Coach Stress is taking care of the basketball. What have you guys been doing to make sure you limit your turnovers? When you look at Felba, it's just about the in-game situation. It's just yeah, analyzing the situation and take care of the ball. Making sure that you, you make eye contact with the passes. And, um, you know, sometimes getting a shot is better than giving it to them. So you got to just look at that and, and figure it out. And yeah, when you don't turn the ball over, you have a chance to score, right? Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, for Golden State, they already have one victory under their belt, and now they're looking to go up 2-0 in this championship series. Just a dominating first half tonight puts them in a terrific position to do so. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, they're getting to the line more, and that usually comes down to wanting to win. Because once they had the lead, they kept pushing. They tightened the screws up, and they didn't let go. And over to Shaq now, your take on the Celtics. First of all, where's the intensity going to be? You think when a team is pumping like this, you at least try to put a stop to it. But nope, just keep giving up open looks, letting the lead get bigger and bigger and bigger. for an NBA championship. Curry has been sensational. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And that's somewhat of a surprise, I mean, but he's been really patient and unselfish. And 
Glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They've got Curry. Jordan Poole is out there with Captain Jason Clutch. Tatum. Then there's Jay, Three and it's Peyton in at the shooting guard. Uh, has a great feel for where defenders are on the court. Tatum navigates himself nicely. Pass to Jay. Here's Captain Clutch. Peyton finds Curry. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. To the left wing, here's Pritchard. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Pritchard's got it back down to single digits for the Celtics. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Captain Clutch passes to Curry. And that one's in. He's only missed 3 of 13. Unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flame. That's what you love about him. He shows no mercy. Even with a comfortable lead. Their third three-pointer in a row. Outside Curry. And there's the pass to Captain Clutch. Trying to find Curry. He's got it now. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Curry. Horford the pass to Pritchard. Gets the drive. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Hasn't taken them any time to find that rhythm in the second half. Four for four from the field already. And he's got his first chance at the line here. At the line for one. Warriors leading by seven. Hayden finds Curry, shoots it up, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Curry's got six points in the quarter. They're on target from the start of the half. They're moving well, they're getting some good shots. That makes him three for four from the field since halftime. Oh, and the jam by Tatum. That's amazing, the creativity, and you see how fluid an athlete Tatum is. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoff. Here's Curry with the three. Al Horford with the rebound. And here's Boston. They're on a 14-6 run. Pass to Tatum. Leaps for it. Out of bounds. Golden State takes possession. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Peyton outside. Passes it to Curry. Launches a three. Hits it from three-point range. Curry's got 30 points. Lost his first three of the second half. After nearly two in the first, they don't want to let this fella get going. Pritchard passes to Tatum. And the Celtics hit again from deep. What a gamer this kid is. Tatum wants to deliver the payback blow. Now that's leadership. To the inside, Captain Clutch banked in off the glass. Captain Clutch has got 12. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Here's Pritchard. 
He's got nine. That tried Orford. To the paint. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Robert Williams. That is his first foul of the game. Andrew Wiggins checked in for the Warriors. Celtics, sir. Celtics also with a sub. Neesmith, he's checked in for Robert Williams. Warriors leading by nine. Right side curve. Let's it go from deep. Buries it from three-point range. Curry's got 12 points now in the quarter. Some players might wear down during this kind of work. So. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. They got to start guarding him out to about 28 feet because he's killing from long range. And the loudest section gets free T-shirts. Is it you? Let me hear you. Williams is checked in for Eastman. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Kirk. Blocking foul called on. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Side, Horford. Tatum finds William. The Celtics working the ball around now. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. He's been dominant this quarter. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the time. The free throw drops for Curry. Celtics trail by 13. Pass to Tatum. And he drives in. And that one is off. Wiggins with some nice deep. Here's Curry. And Curry throws it down. Just rubbing it in their faces with that one. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. What a performer this guy is. He relishes the chance to hammer it down. Now, here's Horford. Fires from deep. Sinks the three-pointer. Horford's got his second bucket of the night. He has the ability to stretch the floor effectively. I mean, that's what makes him such a coveted big man. And Curry throws it down. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And guys, it's clear, though, he is really showing off his athleticism. The D can't give him these opportunities. Here's Tatum. The Warriors making the shot. The pass to Pritchard. Here he goes. Good. And it's Tatum picking up the assist. This goes to Tatum's got three assists tonight. The second half he's having, I mean, his field goal percentage is way up there. Curry, good! And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Outside, Horford. Tatum on the wing. Down low. The Warriors pull it in. Captain Clutch has got his fifth rebound in this one. And Curry throws it down. You've got to love his hustle, leading the defense in no time. Yeah. How about them not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Here's Pritchard. He's got 13. Pass to Brown. Here's Horford. Here's Pritchard. And the Celtics hit again from deep. He had to battle through some tough shooting problems in the first half. I mean, give him credit. It's been much easier for him in the second Curry on the wing. He's got 44. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. 
here's Pritchard, guarded by Kirk. Tatum looking around. In the corner, Horford with it. Shot clock at six. Tries from ten. A shot by Pritchard, no good. And here's Curry who brings it up for Golden State. Their biggest lead of the game is 21. Just running it in their faces with that. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the bat. What a perform for this guy. He relishes the chance to have Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. He's running wild. They had to call a timeout just to take away at least some of his moments. with some changes. Damian checking in for the Celtics. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Here's Curry. Buries it down low. Curry's got 48. Strong ball work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. On the floor for Boston. Now Williams is out there with Taj Gibson. Then it's Tatum. Then it's White. And it's Pritchard in at the one spot. Here's Pritchard. Outside, White. Like it's six. On loads. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first pick. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Warriors. Their inside game has been great tonight. So much of their scoring has come from the paint. And you've always heard of guys being in a zone shooting. But you can be in a zone passing the basketball. And we've seen that tonight as well. And he knocks down the first one. Al Horford has checked in for Boston. So he makes both from the line. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. And Curry, here we go. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And the defender all over. At the line for the Dubs. Two shots. Throw good Curry. Impeccable from the line since halftime. He doesn't get the second one. Well, in the rebounding game at least, it's been a strong physical performance for him. To the middle. White dishes to Horford. Buries the easy one. I respect how Horford really tries to move out of the skill level. He knows what he can do and does it well. Curry. Rebound, Boston. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Tatum on the wing. Outside, Horford. This ball movement by Boston. Pritchard hits the bucket. The switch flips for him at halftime. Not a single point in the first half. All of a sudden, he's come alive. Up top, Curry. And another one that gives him 51. Making it look easy. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. There's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Tatum wide open. He fires one. And again, Boston with the triple. Once he turned it on, he became a force in this game. Not sure who this guy was in the first half. And Curry, here we go. And yes, it's good. Curry's got 53. It's been like this all night for both teams. 
the offense is having their way. Yeah, but defensively, neither side has been able to adjust, and that is reflected in the score. Now, here's Tatum. Missed inside. This quarter has been hit or missed for him, mostly missed. Curry gets the bucket. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Oh, that's just the mentality you have to have. You're not wanting to give the opposition any hope of falling back into it. Yep, that one goes. Richard's got 20. Strange game for him. Barely made any noise in the first half, and here in the second, he's been everywhere. Here's Curry, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. And the Warriors lead by six. He's kept the integrity of their offense tonight by moving and cutting and scoring every time they need it. And they hit it back. Here's White. Off target from outside. Warriors leading by six. Here's Curry. Rebound by the Celtics. Williams has got rebound number five here tonight. From 10 feet out, that's in. He's seven for 12 now in the game. Oh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. Here's Curry. And, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three point play chance here for him. And he delivers another blow. Something's got into him. He's carrying him offensively. Team foul. At the line for the Warriors. One shot. The free throw drops for Curry. Celtics trail by seven. Here's Pritchard. White down low, covered by Peyton. And it's White missing. From 14. That one rolling around and rims out. Austin's gone two of five on three point shots since the end of the third quarter. Here's Pritchard. The Warriors pull it in. Captain Clutch has got seven rebounds in the game. And again, that's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A remarkable performance from him so far. For Boston, they've gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. Richard passes to Horford. Passes it to Richard. Six on the shot clock. Goes up and lays it. Richard's got six points in the quarter. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Here's Curry. Uses the glass to finish the way. And the Warriors lead by nine. They're going to have to come up with a better matchup. This guy just too much speed. Boston. Now a timeout called by Boston. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's the most subtle moves that make the biggest difference. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. Clutch. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight, and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. During the last break, got to listen in on Ime Adoka's huddle with his team. He was begging them to step it up. He said, we've got to make the move now. We're going to be out of time and out of luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Thank you, Thank you David. Oh, what incredible precision. Brown cutting the D to pieces. Timeout called the Warriors. For the Warriors. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. And another one falls. Amazing. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. 
Celtics trail by nine. Inside, here's Pritchard. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his fourth assist in this one. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. Now here's Curry, and Curry throws it down. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. No, but his teammates love that kind of energy, brothers. I mean, don't like this demonstrate leaders. And Boston has possession. The Warriors making the shot. Rebounded by the Celtics. Here's Pritchard. Brown wide open. He fires. Hits the three-point bomb. Brown's got 22. In perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. But, but it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. Now, here's Tatum. Over to the left wing. Horford has a wide open look. And the Celtics hit again from TV. Everybody knew the ball was going to Horford in that situation because he routinely makes big shots. He has no fear. Here he comes, and there he goes. Look at him punish that rim. One fourteen left in the game. Here's Pritchard. The shot, no good. The Warriors go the other way. Here's Curry. Some solid defense from Brown. Celtics trail by five. Pass to Pritchard. Wiggins with the block. His length gives Wiggins an advantage on the D. He can get his hand to shots that a lot of other players would not be able to impact. A gigantic bucket. Brown stepping into the spotlight when the match goes. A big time possession here. Yeah, and their hearts must be going 100 miles an hour right now. Another one falls. What a game. That's 72 points. He's been simply Greg sensational throughout this one. And so it's Boston with it. Money! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. He can go inside and shoot. He can dominate on the fast break. And tonight, Brown is doing it all. Timeout called the Warriors. They're leading by three. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And Curry throws it down. Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trailing by five. 24 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Twenty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the basketball. Over Peyton. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And so they foul intentionally. Jalen Brown. That's his first personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the goal. Taking two shots. It's the first. That increases their lead to six. So he drops them both. Let's say seven-point game. Those free throws helping him to make the lead even safer. And here's Tatum for three. Wiggins with the rebound. Now Curry. And it falls. Another one. Credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerned.
concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. So we see the Warriors get the win here. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. That concludes game two of the NBA Finals. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony.